You can watch the best parts of this series at medcircle.com. Do you want to talk about what is going on right now that's making things more or is or is there something that's making things more complicated or difficult right now? Um, I mean, we can I guess we can touch on it a little bit. I I just am I'm recently going through a breakup and the person was like The person was everything to me, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. um, the person was the, the only person in my life, family, friends, people that I've met, like the only person who's ever actually been truly empathetic with me, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. When I'm crying, he went to me and he was holding me and like, you know, I'm going through a hard time and he was that, that really strong advocate of like, you can do this, like mm -hmm. you're, you're, you're strong. Mm -hmm. You've been through so much and, you know, at times I don't feel strong. Mm -hmm. I feel super weak. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I hear from so many people it's that you're fighting. So you are strong, like you've got this and it, it's getting harder every day. I feel like, you know, everything that comes along with it, it, it's getting worse as I'm getting older. And it's, it's making me more desperate than ever to find an answer and to find something that will work for me. Mm -hmm. Do you feel there is a possibility that things are difficult right now because that is part of the process of finding a solution? I feel like right now it's extra difficult because I'm going through a grieving moment. You mm. know, I'm, I'm going through grieving. Yes. I, I lost my best friend. Yeah. Um, and breakups are like deaths. They are. And I mean, they've been actually proven that they're, they can be just as bad, same as like divorces and stuff. Yeah. It's, it's bad. Um, so I'm, I'm grieving and it's making all of my other things that I'm struggling with and I've been trying to work through yeah. so much harder because yeah. I almost have to put my trauma therapy on the back burner to like deal with what I'm dealing with, with now. With the grieving. Yeah. So, I mean. I totally got it. I totally get it now. So it's, I am already struggling with depression, DID, CPTSD, all of these things which is enough by itself, but now I have to grieve. Mm -hmm. So these things that are already difficult have to take a backseat so I can deal with the grieving. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get that. I understand that. And it just, it flares them up yeah. so much. Which makes them yeah. worse. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get that. I get that. That's hard. That's difficult. I mean, it's, this is probably the hardest time I've ever been in my life. Like, yeah, until, oh, wow. like I've, just like Disneyland and being like my happy place. And yeah. that's, that's what makes me want to live. He made me feel like that. Yeah. And that was the only person that's ever truly really made me feel like that, you yeah. know, to where I didn't want to pull that plug. I didn't want to end my life. Like he made me so happy and, you know, going through the breakup has left me kind of homeless right now. Like yeah. I'm staying with friends and, yeah. It's, it's just put so many other stressors on my life that it's just making it unbearable. I believe that the worst things in our life come to us mm -hmm. because we have to learn a lesson. I absolutely it. believe the same thing. You believe the same thing. Yeah. Do you know what the lesson is from this relationship yet or are you still learning it? I feel like I, I need to just work on myself more. I'm in my relationships. I explain people have the things that they're passionate about or the things that they throw everything into, whether it's your pets, traveling, your kids, mm -hmm. your home, mm -hmm. your relationship. And for me, it's my relationship. I've always thrown so much into it. I, and, I, and that's always how I'm going to be, but it's, been so much of me giving and giving and giving that I haven't 
give in to myself to put in the time to heal yes. from my pasts and to really put in that work. So now I'm able to really focus on myself. Yes. I'm trying at least and put in that work that I need to put in to really heal because I can't heal myself if I'm also trying to heal other people yeah. that I saw as like my other half. Right. And when you said he made me so happy or he was my everything, he's what made me happy. I, th no one should have that type of power over you. They should surely add value to your life, but you, me, we get to make ourselves happy first. Yeah. I can't have, I can't be dependent on anybody else mm -hmm. to make me happy. I, I don't, that's a personal Kyleism. <laughs> that's yeah. how I live my life. You are not going to affect me that way. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe that's defensive, I don't know, but I, I think it's about, you know, to quote RuPaul Charles, <laughs> If you can't love yourself, how the hell you're going to love somebody else? You know, it always starts with you yeah. before anybody else. And I agree with that. You know, I have a therapist who kind of described it to me as like, you know what? There's nothing wrong with you wanting to have that relationship and that connection because that's something that everybody wants, mm -hmm. you know, or the majority of people. Mm -hmm. And whether it's that relationship that you want or whether it's, you know, that that house and you want to build this house mm -hmm. and have it be beautiful and you just put everything into that, you know, like whatever it is, that's a good thing. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with it. Just like a mother who wants a child who can't physically give birth, you know, it's, it's all okay. And those mm -hmm. are great things to want, but it does come to yourself. Yeah. You do have to put in the work for yourself. Yeah. It's interesting in a world that we always say is so selfish. I think people need to be more selfish. I think people need to put them, themselves first more than what we're doing because what we're getting a little off topic here, but when people look at uh, selfishness, they look at, Oh, well they're posting pretty Instagram pictures. That's so selfish. That's for other people. Yeah. That's for other people to look at you. I'm talking about being you. Let's mm -hmm. be selfish with you, your time, where you're putting your energy, how you're making, how you can be your own best friend, how you can be okay spending time with yourself. Because mm -hmm. you've got to look in that mirror every day and go, oh yeah, yeah, I like that person. You yeah. know? And I don't mean you specifically, I no. mean all of us. All yeah. of us need to do that. Thanks for watching. Your next step is to go to medcircle.com and finish watching this series. There you can also access other series and get actionable advice and simple explanations. Continue your mental health journey at medcircle.com and I'll see you there.